friends, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. How is everybody this evening? Happy Sunday. It is almost New Year's. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So I thought that uh, this evening I would come on and we're going to talk about something fun. Um, and that is how to make your Reborn dolls um, look or appear uh, more realistic or real um, for photos, for videos, and just in general for yourself. Um, I thought this was just a really fun thing to do. So I have Asphoria in my arms right now. Um, she is the Sky Sculpt by Marita Winters, um, and she is a Kimberly's Cocoon baby. I'll show you her face here. And I just kind of have her wrapped up in a blanket here with a burp cloth on. Behind me, there's a few other babies. There's Asir sitting there. There's Julian in the little uh, boppy lounger. And there's my little preemie baby um, and cakey there on the bed um, because I'm going to show you a few different babies um, and, and examples of things. Um, so one thing to get started is um, how how you're holding them, which right now I have Asphoria and she has a uh, blanket uh, lightly kind of wrapped around her. Um, but as you can see, if now say I'm standing here like this from this angle and I'm just gently rocking back and forth as I'm speaking to you and you see the burp cloth over me and you kind of see a baby's head or even um, a profile view, um, I would assume that, you know, if you didn't know this was a reborn doll channel and say you clicked on boop from right now and I introduce you to my beautiful new baby girl, Asphoria, um, you would be thinking that I have a real baby in my arms. <laughs> um, and there's different ways that you can um, wrap up a reborn doll um, in uh, a blanket, like you can swaddle them tight so that you, if you, you know, want to make it appear like you're holding, you know, a very small uh, newborn. I'm sure most of you know how to uh, swaddle, you know, it's just wrapping, basically wrapping tightly in a blanket. And you want to use, obviously, um, realistic things. So that's a great tip is um, to use real baby blankets, real baby clothes, um, and real baby uh, props and accessories such as car seat strollers, um, you know, things like bottles. You don't want to use a, a, a pretend baby bottle from a store. You want to use an actual real uh, baby bottle and uh, seal the nipple, uh, which that's a whole other video, but <laughs> um, you can seal it with uh, with uh, silicone um, or, and different types of uh, glues, uh, but mostly I, I use a silicone glue. And um, uh, there's lots of different ways to make this fox fake, you know, formula that's in there. Um, so you want to use um, realistic things. I'm going to take Asphoria out of the blanket now. So most importantly, my most important um, tip would be how you handle your reborn baby while you're <laughs> while you're making your videos uh um you know and taking your pictures but you know mostly in videos and in real life how you handle your reborn is really important because as you can see I am I now have Asphoria up on my shoulder I'm gently kind of you know, bouncing her up and down a little bit as if I was, you know, bur you know, I'm here, I'm rubbing her back as if you were burping a baby or soothing a baby. Um, you know, so you want to speak in a tone that you would speak in when you would, if you had a real live um, newborn baby in your arms and you want to hold your reborn the same as you would hold a real baby um, because it's very hard for people to determine. Now, I'm going to do a switch from her from up on my uh, shoulder back into the cradle position in my arms. So I'm going to take my hand 
and support her head. I have my other hand on her bottom. And I'm not quickly, not abruptly, no jerky movements. I'm just gently going to bring her down and around and slide my arm under here. Obviously, you're going to do that in a little bit faster of a motion, but I'm just, you know, showing you as you would a real baby. Um, and often I would turn my children towards me. Let's take off this, this cloth and, and kind of snuggle them up, bring the baby's hands like up onto your chest, tuck a leg in up here and then have one out here. So there, you know, as you can see, like, could you tell right now if you just turn this on that I am not holding, you know, a real baby in my arms? This totally looks like I'm holding a real baby and, you know, soothing a real baby. So there's tons of different, um, obviously, ways that you would hold a baby and handle a real um, baby. I also used to take my kids like this, especially if they were getting colicky, and I would lay them over my arm like this. You could turn the baby's head on, on your arm just like that, and then you support underneath their tummy and just just like this. I used to do this with my own children. Um, my daughter, uh, Noelle, she loved when she was a baby. I used to put just both hands like this and just carry her around like this. <laughs> um, but you want to make sure, and if you're, if you're sitting, I mean, obviously you have to gently turn the baby's head. It's a reborn doll. It's not a baby. It's not really going to turn, but um, sitting the baby on your lap and placing the baby's uh, chin on the palm of your hand and then, you know, rubbing their back or burping them. It's just, you know, most of it is how you are holding your reborn, um, how you're handling your uh, reborn. If you handle the reborn like a doll, people are going to know it's a doll. They're going to know that you're not, <laughs> you know, you're not handling a real baby. So it same goes for when you place that baby, you know, down, you want to gently, you want to bring your, your chest down and just as you would a real uh, baby and lay the baby into a position that, you know, you would lay a real, you know, baby. And I'm, I'm sorry, you can't totally see down on the bed. I wanted you to be able to see me up here because this is where I'm going to be doing my most, um, demonstrating. So I'm going to move Osphoria over, over here. Um, and let's take another baby. This is Julian. He is the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And look, See, I am lifting him as I would lift a baby. I am supporting his head, my hand on his bottom, and I'm bringing him towards me. Curl, you know, he's curled up, and I'm going to stand and talk and, and rock. Many of you that have been with my channel, you see me do this. Um, you see the way that I do handle my my babies, my dolls, my babies. Um, and um, a lot of people have mentioned like, oh, wow, the baby looks so real when you're holding it or when you had the baby up on your shoulder. Like people have commented enough to where I'm like, oh, you know, it's it's something worth mentioning because obviously, um, you know, I watch channels too. And you can see when when someone is handling, again, the reborn like a doll, it's you know, clear, obviously it's a doll. So if you're wanting to do a role play video and have your baby doll appear real, these are the, the tips to take. I, I, I'm not talking about like tricking people into thinking that's not what I mean. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I'm just talking about um, it makes them it makes a fun viewing experience for your viewers when um, the your your reborn dolls look very realistic because that's the whole point of these dolls. Um, so again, when you're doing a swap, <laughs> uh, you know you're gonna handle the the reborn as you would a 
a baby. Um, and messy hair is, you know, is a thing too because, you know, most of the time you do not see um, real live babies with perfect looking hair. So if their hair is a little messy in the back when you pick them up, instead of running, grabbing a brush, just leave it and do your thing and talk. I mean, obviously when we're doing a, um, you know, a, a, uh, uh, an outfit video and you're just showing off the outfit and you want the baby obviously we all take the brush and we fix them and we prop them and we do uh, you know I'm just talking about the videos that you're making that you want your baby to look as realistic as possible and any reborn doll can be made to look like this especially if if you do not have a very realistic looking reborn baby doll perhaps you have a budget baby or it's not a reborn at all it's just a baby doll and that's what you have to make your videos and what you love and want to share you can still absolutely make that baby doll look very very real so then you would not want to you know get up close you know on on um the camera to where people can see that it's a doll you want to um, you know, stand further back and just handle that baby doll as if it was a baby. Because let's just give an example. If I were to say, this is my reborn, <laughs> uh, Julian, isn't he adorable? Um, I got him a few weeks ago. I love him so much. He's the Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown, um, he's got blonde hair and he's a sleeping baby. Do you see the difference? Like you can automatically see either this is a doll or I'm mishandling a baby. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> um, as I said, any doll can definitely be handled in such a way, uh, here is my little preemie baby and Fakey. Obviously, you're going to be especially delicate with a, a little tiny preemie baby. You're going to walk slow. Your movements are going to be even more slow. She's obviously a sleeping baby. And you're going to hold that baby, perhaps get that baby a little closer up here on your chest so the baby's closer to your skin and you know just things of that that nature um you know i happen to in general when i'm talking i often will stroke my baby's hair like with my finger like this and you know their their toes and just i um you know these these dolls you know um my natural maternal instinct comes out. I have four children, so it's just natural for me to, you know, um, I was always with my own children, you know, um, babies need, you know, touch and stimulation and it's important. It's just, it's just natural. It's just natural. So, um, if you love your doll and you have a connection with the sculpts, with the artists, and you really love your, your reborn or your silicone, it really comes off, you know, um, in, in your videos. And I love seeing mommies that have, uh, you know, that great magical connection with, with their, uh, reborn babies, you know, m probably the majority of you watching this, you know, know what I'm talking about. Um, and you know, whatever makes that doll very special and very sentimental to you is it comes off, you know, when, um, you're sharing that baby. Um, so another thing, and obviously, and Keiki is not dressed to the weather because it's winter here and she is just, you know, in, in a onesie. Um, but in general, when you are posting your photos, when you're doing your videos or when you're taking your baby out, you want to dress your baby weather appropriate. Because if you're, if you have your baby like in shorts and a spring outfit in the middle of the winter, people are going to realize that, you know, that's not a real baby. You wouldn't have a real baby, you know, freezing cold like that. Um, so your props are, um, are important as well. Um, 
taking your pictures with um, props and the way that you position your babies. Same as when you're holding them. You want to position your babies in natural positions. So for instance, if you have a sleeping um, baby, and I really should have had the camera so that it wasn't, um, it was facing the other way so that I could show you, but I'll have to do that in another video, but I'll just simply take my arm and give you an example, okay? So if you put the baby down, you want to, you know, put an arm up. Now a sleeping baby isn't gonna just be laying on its back like this, sleeping. Baby's heads go to the side, baby's limbs flop. And so you want to lay that baby down and turn its head to one side or another. Maybe position a hand, one hand up underneath, maybe another hand kind of up stretching by the ear. You know, just picture in your head the way, an, uh, um, you know, a real baby would naturally, you know, lay down to, to sleep. And that's, you know, much more realistic um, than, you know, you also age appropriate for that baby. You, you know, if you put this, this preemie baby sitting up against a pillow to take a picture, it's not going to look very realistic. Um, you know, that's, that's why many of you that have been with me, I got those props from Ashley that I'm looking forward. I just haven't had time to play with and use, um, but I got the, um, uh, some of the NICU stuff for fun, for photos, for props and photos, because, um, you know, you would expect to see a baby this tiny, um, to have a, you know, a little bit of support like that, um, you know, with, uh, oxygen and such. Um, so age appropriate props for the size uh, new, uh, reborn that you have and um, uh, what you call it positioning your baby in realistic positions and holding them in realistic um, positions like you know I'm holding her up now I have her little tiny chin on my hand the way that a baby's head would fall into, you know, one arm up over my finger like this. So if you were, you know, if the baby was, you know, just, if you were just holding out a tiny baby like this, you'd be hanging on to them in a specific way. So you want to do that on your videos. Um, I hope I'm making sense. I should show you all a little bit bigger of a baby. Let me let Lay and cake down. This time I will curl her up into a position that she might be sleeping in. Um, and then I'll let you all go so this isn't a forever, forever video. But let's see, I have Shay here. Now, obviously, Shay is a lot bigger of a baby than the few babies that you just saw. Um, she has a few teeth coming in. So automatically, as I'm holding her and bouncing her, my finger up over her mouth, that might be something you would have, be doing when you have a, a baby that would be anywhere between, you know, maybe um, seven months old, let's say, you know, she's got her, you know, she's cutting two teeth. So, I mean, it could be early as six months, seven to nine months old would be you know, appropriate for that. So you want to, you know, she's an open-eyed baby and she's smiling, so you want to say, hi, Jay. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. how are you doing, silly girl? So if you hold your baby and talk to your baby as if they were real and they're happy and say hi, wave hi to everybody. Yes. And your baby, voila, looks a whole lot more real and it's a whole lot more entertaining for your viewers. Um, a larger awake baby is going to have a lot more movement, so you want to just keep shifting them around, moving them around, reposing their arms, perhaps have a toy. We do have, I don't, I should have had a little teething ring. I should have been prepared for this video, but you know, and some kind of toy that the baby can be, you know, just kind of have and play with while you're chatting. And it just then gives the um, illusion um, it, it, that you have a 
real baby. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So before I let you all go and we'll finish with Shay, um, I will say one more thing. It is definitely not realistic to have multiple um, uh, infant babies. <laughs> um, so, you know, if you're doing a role play video and you're doing a video where you want your reborn doll to appear very real, you don't want to have multiple, you know, you don't want to have you know, a preemie, a one month old, a three month old, and a six month old. <laughs> unless you're running a daycare, or unless you're doing a daycare video. Um, so that's, you know, that's another thing, you know, you definitely, you know, and, and then certainly if you have other dolls, you know, propped up in the backgrounds, like I'm not practicing what I'm preaching here, obviously, people are going to realize that they're there are dolls and that, you know, it's a doll. So anyway, I hope I gave you some helpful hints this evening. Um, it was just a fun video that I wanted to do. And tomorrow morning, Shay is getting a baby brother or sister. So I'm so excited. Baby New Year will be here tomorrow, which is New Year's Eve. I'm contemplating whether to upload, to hit that upload for um after midnight um so it's like truly technically baby new year or if we can just live with the fact that this is my first baby of 2019 technically um the baby really wasn't supposed to come until next week and I just kind of pulled it off to get the baby here early because I was so excited so this is a technically a 2019 uh baby um there will be very few this year. You know, I have uh, Keaton uh, that he's, it's still, you know, I, I just, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do it this year the way that, you know, I did it last year, which is fine. I, I'm loving my collection. I'm loving making videos and sharing with all of you. I have tons of fun ideas and things for my channel for 2019. I hope you all will uh, come along for the ride and enjoy. So I don't, you know, I don't need to be, it, it's just too overwhelming for me. I don't have then time to stop and enjoy <laughs> the gorgeous babies that are coming in that are really, really special. In fact, I know I go on forever. Can you all believe I actually was contemplating because I had talked about this in my last video that at this point I really have to sell to bring in new babies. I have to sell to buy. I was contemplating letting us for you go and I can't I feel horrible for even thinking it. I, I you know I took her back out and dressed her and I was just like oh my gosh I can't believe that I was I yeah no uh, asphoria is no 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 um all of my Kimberly's cocoon babies are here I have never sold a Kimberly's cocoon baby and I yeah that's you know unless there's you know my family needed so you know I I couldn't I couldn't let her go she is my total she is my Zen baby. Let's fix it. Ah, let's just take that off. She's to my Zen baby. Look at that face. Look at those eyes. You can't see her eyes that good in the um because it is nighttime, but she just brings my peace, my Zen and, and she just, yeah, you know. Um, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of had myself convinced, like, oh, I just, you know, it wasn't that a sculpt that I really, and that's not true. I love her, you know, she's got, she's got beautiful curled legs and she's just so unique and beautiful. Her hair, her eyes, I love her. I love everything about her. I don't, I guess I was thinking to myself, what babies could I let go? What babies do I spend the least time with? Um, because, you know, you, you know, I, I guess I got greedy that I wanted to bring it. I, I don't know. I just, but no, I, I love, I love her. I, I can't do it. I do definitely have a baby that, um, I am going to be putting up soon because truly the sculpt, I, I, it's just not there for me. Um, it's, I, I'm going to wait on that because so many people inquire when I, 
say it and I don't I did not keep a list I don't have time to do that it's just gonna be when the baby goes up and blah, 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 blah. So, all right everyone thank you so much for tuning in I may see you again still in 2018 because you may see the new baby's box opening but if I can contain myself and hold off <laughs> to post till after midnight tomorrow I am going to try because I you know yeah I'm gonna try so anyway please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check and make sure that you are subscribed and that you have that notification bell hit um you're definitely gonna want to do that so that you get invites to my live streams and that so you don't miss when I next upload a video and until next time God bless